Hey there, thanks again for joining me. This is Von Barron, and you're here at drummingforlife.com, and we're going to have such a great time today. Uh, thank you for being here. You could have been someplace else, but you're here with me, so thank you. We're going to work on uh, basic uh, kind of triplet patterns with your hands. These are very, very useful in a lot of context, and you're going to see them used in the pattern, basic patterns used in grooves. You're going to see the basic patterns used in fills and all kinds of ideas for, for musical ideas that you can use with your playing. So let's get going. Left hand, again, is going to be doing more of a kind of circular motion. Remember, we were doing this big circular motion for our, our basic swing pattern, right? We're going to take that same kind of thing, but we're going to minimize it. We're going to make it a little mini, mini circles, okay? So let's talk about that first. Left hand, remember, we're not using our whole arm. We're really using just wrist. And fingers. Okay. So there's your wrist and fingers. Okay, let's go real slow. So you're just doing real many, many, many circles like that. So rather than going all the way up here and covering all this real estate, we're just going to keep our hand real nice and tight. And I'm not pushing down. I'm not, not a lot of pressure there. Just really, really, really relax. Remember, it's about that 40 degree angle, 35, 40 degree angle that you're, or maybe 45, I don't know, depending. But you don't want to get this kind of sound going on. You don't want to get this kind of sound. Really nice and smooth. We're trying to smooth it out. It's important with brushes, especially with the left hand, if, if you're right handed, or le right hand if you're left handed. Uh, it's Im very important that you. Really focus on that smooth factor, okay? So, uh, so really nice and smooth. You really want it to be a kind of a continuous sound. I'm spending a lot of time on this because I want to make sure you get this. Okay, watch that left hand. You really want that smooth sound, okay? You hear any hiccups in my playing is because this drum head is about in need of, of replacement. So it's getting caught on some little, little, uh, 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 break some cracks in the uh, the coating on the top, but all right. Now this hand is just going to do nice light taps, okay? And it's just going to be real close at hand. Remember, also one of the things we want to try to do is always have one brush touching the head. That makes it minimizes that ringy sound, but also gives us a nice, tight, crisp sound when we're playing. It uh, doesn't mean all the time, but just means a lot of the time, try to do that. So this pattern will help you practice that as well. So this is just going to be a nice swish sound. This is going to be a nice, easy tap. Okay, Relax that right hand. Relax the, the fingers around the brush. Don't, don't get too tense with that. Just, just nice and light, a nice, light tap. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to play triplets. Remember, triplets are one, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, remember how we count triplets. So what we're going to do is we're going to count the triplets with our hands and, and play at the same time. We're going to count the triplets with our mouth and play with our hands at the same time. So, uh, so we're going to go. Uh, the first pattern is one, and then we're going to do two taps with the right hand. So 
One and a, two and a, three and a, four and a. So now what I've done is I've taken the smooth, just real smooth as silk approach, and I'm going to add a little accent so that it gives me a downbeat. So one, and I'm just going to push down, flex that brush ever so slightly to give me that accent. Remember we talked about that in our previous video. That's all you have to do to accent a brush a lot of times is just to push down a little more tension. One and a, uh, two and a, uh, three and a, uh, four. So I'm just going like this. One and a, uh, two and, and notice I'm not breaking in the action, I'm not breaking in this, 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 this cycle. I'm just I'm continuing on. So it's like accent, continue on, accent, continue on. I don't go accent, stop, erp, and then continue on. So it's not two, okay? I want you just to do uh, one and uh, two. And now, unlike up here, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. This first pattern actually, the accent is on the one. One and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, one. This hand is going to fill it in. One. And a uh, two and a uh, three and a uh, four and a uh, one. Now, if we take that same approach, but then we think differently about what our, where our hands are in the counts, we get a different sound. So, if I want to, then I want to put the uh, the swish and the accent in the middle of the triplet. So you have your one and a, uh, and I want to put it in the middle, in the, that middle note. It's gonna, I'm going to do a tap first and then uh, an accent and then another tap. So like this. One and a. Uh. 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 Uh. Two and a. Uh. Three and a. Uh. Four and a. Uh. One and a. Uh. And a uh, three and a uh, four and a uh. uh, one and a uh, two and a uh, three and a uh, four and a uh, one. Now let's go ahead and continue on. What if I want to put this on the last note of the triplet? So you have your one and ah, so we're going to put it on the ah now. So that means we're going to do two taps with our right hand to start, okay? And then we're going to do this as our ah. Now in a, a future video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to incorporate, how to use these patterns in the context of those swing patterns I've already taught you. We'll also work on other, other grooves as well other patterns uh, and uh, straight eighth and straight sixteenth note patterns as well, but um, in, we're gonna, you're going to see how you can adapt them rather from a triplet to a straight eighth or straight sixteenth note as well in, in terms of counting and thinking. But for right now, let's just learn the basic hand pattern. That's really going to help you and give you a lot of mileage for what you can do later on. So, uh, so one and ah, say one and ah, two. And a uh, three and a uh, four and a uh. okay now you can also put them together you can go in and out and practice. This is really good practice for you. Again, do it slow so you can learn it fast. But start off and try to just go from one to the other. Just jump around. Maybe do put the you know do pattern number one, uh, you know one and uh, then jump to pattern number three or whatever. But let's do them in order right now. So one and a, uh, two and a, uh, three and a, uh, four. Number two, uh, one and and uh, three and uh, number three and uh, one and uh, two and 
ah, three, and ah, four, and ah, one. So you can see how you can put them together. It's really important, just like you're learning any language, okay, you're learning a language of brushes, a learning language of drumming. It's really important that you learn how to put things together in different combinations. Like if you're learning a new language, and in, in you're learning to speak a new language, like I'm working every day on learning how to speak Japanese, and it's if I don't practice trying to use a new verb in a, a sentence or a variety of sentences, then I'm not really going to know how to use that verb or that, that word, that action word. But if I practice in many different ways, in many different sentences, it starts to become more natural. That's the same is true for drums. So just think of drums as like you're learning another language. Okay? So, um, so let's just jump around now. So we're going to go one and uh, two, number three, okay? Three, four, and uh, one, and ah, uh, two, and ah. Uh. Now you'll notice sometimes I do a little more of the swish action to keep it smooth. The idea there is to keep, keep that sustained sound while I transition my other hand to get ready to play the, a, a different pattern. Okay, because in that case, the right hand is leading. So I'll do that again. One and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, one and ah, uh, two and ah. Uh. See how that works? Ah, uh, or number two, ah, uh, one and. Now that one I had to come in sooner. So sometimes you're going to have to take, make your take, make really straight out your swish and sometimes you're gonna have to make it you have to get that hand around quicker to get into the next pattern now this is really something you have to do in drumming is get adapt to wherever you're going or wherever the music is going okay so I'll play it all a little bit faster for you so you can see how you can move in and out of the patterns and I'll call out the number as I go so one two three two one One. Now, if I go from there, and I go back to one, you can also do that. Two little swishes. Wow, wow. That really helps, as opposed to going like this. So I could go one and uh, two and uh, three and four and uh, one, and like that, like I did before. Or you can go one and uh, two and uh, three, four and uh, one and uh, two, and, uh, like that. So you're so you're playing that last triplet note and going into the, 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 the downbeat with the next triplet note, both with a, with a swish accent, okay? So there's different ways you can do it. Again, the thing I love about brushes is that there's no, there are no real rules except for make the music sound great and, and, and play in a way that really supports that. So just some ideas. Go ahead and work on that. I know this is going to take a little bit of extra time for you to work it out, but, but go ahead and please let me know if you have any questions. I'd love to hear from you. And make sure you keep on drumming. Thanks so much.